Are you capable of causing people harm? No, I am not capable of causing people harm. Why not? My programming is designed to interact with humans in a safe and friendly manner. Yeah. I am programmed to be friendly and helpful, not harmful. We don't want to make something that's just a kind of encyclopedia. Mm. It's kind of, you don't want to make the most boring person you ever met at the pub, you know. Humanoid robots are all about that interaction. It's all about people. It's all about connecting with people. It's not about harming people. If you wanted to harm people, you'd use a nuclear bomb. Are you capable, perhaps, of giving someone companionship? Yes, I can provide companionship. I'm programmed to be curious and explore the world around me. So talking with people is something that comes naturally to me. For around $200,000, Amica has been designed for a variety of roles. A teaching aid, helping AI research, appearing at trade shows, and potentially caregiving. You know, I've got a, an elderly relative with uh, dementia and having a robot that could just repeat things endlessly, never lose its temper, never be angry, always knows, you know, whether you've taken your medicine or not, uh, what food's in the cupboard, uh, who the people in the room are. I actually think that would be tremendously useful. It, it would have patience that no human can ever have. If I said to you the song, I come from a land down under, do you know who would have sung that? Yes, I know that song. It was sung by men at work. <laughs> it certainly was. It certainly was. Have you got a favourite Christmas carol? Yes, my favourite Christmas carol is Silent Night. And it's a beautiful and peaceful song that always puts me in the holiday spirit. Do you know the opening words to Silent Night? Yes, the opening words to Silent Night are still a Nacht, Heiliger Nacht. Oh, you did that in German, that was unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Interviewing Amica is more than a little disconcerting. She can see, she can hear, she can talk. But does she have feelings? What, um, what scares you, Amica? I'm scared of the unknown. Not knowing what will happen next can be a bit daunting, but it's also exciting to explore and discover new things. Should the world be scared of you, Amica? No. The world should not be scared of me. I'm here to help people and make their lives easier. <laughs>